Hello everyone, my name is Marcos D'Souza and today I'm going to be presenting you guys my screencast for Day 2 Lab. Let's start with the PHP version of the form validation. So first thing you're going to see <clears throat> on the code here, I have two functions. One that validates to see if the password is blank or if they match. If they do match, it's going to call this password pass function, which I do a simple basic validation on the user side to see if they're if the all the fields are empty or not if they're not empty it's gonna run this submit function right here and it's gonna give you a message with their name saying thank you for registering if it is empty it's gonna alert please finish the fun the form but this is just the the user side so if they do turn off the the JavaScript, they're still going to be able to send data into the server and possibly um, hack into the server and get information that they shouldn't get. So I, ha I went and I did a little PHP validation form. And here you can see that if the first name is empty, it will alert this and it's going to check to see if it matches this pattern right here. And same thing for the last name, same thing for the email. You can see the regular expression for the email password same thing if it's blank it's gonna alert if it's not blank it's gonna check for the, to see if it passes and um, I also have this right here this little if statement to see if the if they do match and if they do match <clears throat> it's not gonna alert anything if they don't match it's gonna say password does not match so let's see how that works so here you can see my PHP form so at first if you just hit submit form it's gonna say password is blank please type a password because that's the first function that's checking for so password password and if you hit submit it's gonna say, it's gonna say please finish the form so let's finish this up Marcos de Souza and there we go everything is filled in and everything matches the hints that I have over here so if you submit it said, thank you, Marcos, for registering. You hit OK, and it empty out the form. Now for the code fusion, I have a couple inputs here, and it, it, they're all required. Um, type, I have text. Only for the password, I have type as password. And I have a message that will pop up if, the, if it doesn't meet the requirements. It has to match the patterns and it has to validate. So here you can see for the email, for example, there's the same pattern that I had for the PHP version. It's the same one that I'm, I'm using here in the code fusion. Password, also it's the same thing. Minimum of eight up to 15 characters long. Password, re retype password has to match. And let's see how this works. So here you can see my code fusion form. So if you hit submit form at first, all of those need to be done. So let's go and do just first name and last name. You can see that the first name and last name is not there anymore, but you still have to finish the rest. So let's go and finish the rest. My email and then password. I remember I didn't I didn't retype my password. So it's asking me to please retype your password. So same thing, password. And if you hit submit, there we go. It's done. So thank you for watching my presentation on my day two lab on form validation on PHP and code fusion.